Warning, this video contains fake blood and scary moments. Viewer discretion is advised. I hate school so much. At least Tom is coming over soon. I'm sorry? This bear is actually kind of cute. I wonder why somebody would just leave it here. I guess she would look pretty cute in my room. Hmm. Here's my room, little teddy bear. I know, it isn't much, but now you're here, you can brighten it up a little bit. Here, you look perfect on my bed. I should probably give you a name. How about Annie? That's such a cute name for such a cute little bear. You know, I probably sound kind of insane talking to a teddy bear, but it's kind of comforting talking to you in a way. <laughs> oh, that's probably Tom. He's my boyfriend. I'll be right back. So, Tom, you said you wanted to talk about something? Is anything wrong? No, it's just, uh, this is kind of awkward, but I came here to break up with you. What? Why? We were doing so well. Uh, well, yeah, I just got kind of bored of you, and, well, there's this other girl, so... I can't believe you. Get out of my house. Yep, alright, glad that's taken care of now. Uh, see you in math class on Monday. <laughs> I can't believe he used me like that. All this time, I thought we were in a real relationship, and he just- he just gets bored? <laughs> he hurt you. Oh my god, oh my god, did you just talk? Don't worry, Pepper. We're friends, aren't we? There's no need to be afraid of me. I'm sorry. My boyfriend just broke up with me. I can't be dealing with hallucinations like this. You're not real. I am real, Pepper, and you're not going crazy. No one should hurt you like that. He doesn't deserve to be here. I should probably throw you out or put you back outside. I can't be dealing with this. But Pepper, we're friends. I don't want to be lonely. Don't take me back outside. All right, I won't take you back outside. Thanks for making me feel better, Annie. That's what friends are for. Pepper, you failed another class? I cannot believe you, you ungrateful brat. Last month you failed a class and I forgave you, but I just got another little letter in the mail that said that you failed math. I cannot believe you. You're grounded for a month until you get that grade up. Come back, I can explain. Ugh, as if this day wasn't hard enough already. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. What's going on? <gasps> Mom, are you okay? What's going on? Hold on, let me turn on the light. Mom, is that blood? What happened? I, I, I was sleeping and, and I heard some footsteps. I opened my eyes for one second and I saw a bear. It, it, it had a knife and it looked as if it was aiming for my throat, but but I pushed it away because I saw it. Uh, and it cut my paw instead, and now it's disappeared, and I don't know what happened, and I don't know if I hallucinated it. Pepper, please help. Mom, it'll all be okay. I'll clean this up, and I'll bandage your paw. Thanks, darling. I, I, I'm just so scared. Okay, Mom. It's okay. And when you said a 
bear attacked you, what do you mean by that? It's a teddy bear, and I sound insane, but I don't know where it went, but I know it was a teddy bear. I know where it went. Mom, I have to go. I have to go. Stay safe. I'll be right back. What? I hate you, Tom, but I can't let you die. Here's the house. Now where are you, Annie? Pepper, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so sorry I couldn't finish the job on your mom, but I promise I'll try harder on this Tom. He deserves to get his blood spilt. You tried to kill my mother, you demonic teddy bear. And now you're, now you're gonna kill my ex-boyfriend? What is wrong with you? They hurt you, Annie. Now I'm gonna hurt them. I should have left you on the doorstep. I should have thrown you in the trash at the first chance I got. Now you're gonna pay, little teddy bear. We're not friends anymore. No. No, we're not. I don't play nice with people that aren't my friends. Guess what? Me neither. You don't even have a weapon. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. I guess you're not afraid of a couple matches, huh? Ah! This will not be the last you see of me, Pepper! Hmm, how sad. What a cute little teddy bear. See you never, Annie. It's been taken care of, Mom. You'll never have to see that wretched old teddy bear ever again. Thank goodness. That was probably the most scary night of my life. <laughs>